All right, students, let's talk about the different types of reactions. Get out your science notebook. Here's the essential question. What are the different types of chemical reactions? Let's make a list of the four types of chemical reactions that we want you to know in this class. The first type is called a synthesis reaction. The second type is decomposition, replacement, and combustion. Now these aren't the only types of chemical reactions. These are just the ones that we are gonna go through in this class. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what each of these look like and give you some examples, and you might wanna write both. Let's start with a synthesis reaction. Now please note that some chemists call this a composition reaction. Either way, it's the same. To synthesize something or to compose it means to put things together. And so in a synthesis reaction, we start off with two reactants. You can see over here in the beginning of the reaction, this red and this blue, or this yellow and this blue thing. And they are going to synthesize. They're going to compose themselves together and form one product when the reaction is over. So what does that look like? Here's an example of that. We might be able to take iron, maybe in iron wool, and light it on fire, and it will combine with the oxygen in the atmosphere. So here we have two moles of iron and one mole of oxygen gas, and it forms after the whole reaction is finished. It only forms one product, two moles of iron to oxide. The next type of reaction is called a decomposition reaction. To decompose means to break apart. In this case, we start off with only one reactant. So over here, this big green box. And that one reactant will break apart and form two products, two or more products technically. But here it is breaking apart into the blue box and the yellow box. So here's an example of this. This is potassium carbonate. This is our large molecule over here on the left-hand side. And potassium carbonate breaks off into two products. Now notice it's not just breaking apart into the different various elements. These two products are compounds in themselves, but they're separated from the potassium carbonate. They rearrange to form these two products. So in this case, it's forming potassium oxide and carbon dioxide as two products. The next type of reaction is called a replacement reaction, and we might see replacement reactions in one or more ways. In a replacement reaction, one or more elements switch places. So take a look up here. Here we've got these two squares, the purple and the turquoise, and we have the orange circle right here. Now that orange circle is going to switch places with one of these squares over here um, to form a new product. So here we have a purple and an orange square, followed by the turquoise square that goes off by itself. This, by the way, is called a single replacement reaction. So you might see a single element replacing a single element in a compound. And so here, sodium iodide and fluorine are an example of this. Fluorine, this element, will come and replace iodine. And they're both very similar, so they can replace each other. So it's going to replace that iodine, and it's become sodium fluoride, and, and iodine is going to go by itself. Another example of this might be a double replacement. So here you see it's very similar. We've got our reactants over here. Here's the square reactants and the circle reactants, and they kind of switch places, kind of like a dance. And so here's an example of that. Iron, iron two sulfide right here and hydrochloric acid, so hydrogen chloride right here. And they basically just switch their partners. Iron goes with chlorine and hydrogen goes with sulfur. The last type of reaction is called a combustion reaction. This one's a little bit more straightforward. You're gonna see very similar reactants and products here. The only thing that's really different is this fuel. When what happens is there's a fuel that will react with oxygen gas, releasing carbon dioxide and water. Combustion is usually what you see with fire and explosions. And we usually need some type of an accelerant or a fuel. That fuel is usually made of carbons and hydrogens. Uh, but more importantly, we can't light anything. We can't actually have a combustion without oxygen as a reactant. So this is one good hint that is a combustion reaction if you see oxygen. And another really good hint is if you see these two products. These are the only products that are going to form carbon dioxide and water. So we see this with methane. Methane fuel is a gas. It's natural gas. Anytime we open up our Bunsen burners in the classroom, CH4 is the fuel that come out, that comes out. And then oxygen is in the atmosphere. We'll combine with that oxygen in the atmosphere. When we light that fuel, that methane and the oxygen will basically switch and rearrange places, go through a chemical reaction, and it always creates carbon dioxide and water. 
All right, so just to summarize all of it, here are the different types of reactions that you need to know about. Synthesis, decomposition, replacement, and combustion. Again, synthesis, things joining together, think like glue. Decomposition, they're splitting apart, like cutting them up like a scissors. Replacement, trading places, think of it like a dance where partners are switching with other partners. And combustion, this is where we have some type of a fuel and then we always combine it with oxygen and form the two products, carbon dioxide and water. All right, test yourself. Here's where I recommend you do. Pause this video right now and see if you can figure out what each of these reactions are. Each of them are a different type. Let's see if you can classify them. Did you pause the video and try it yourself? I hope so. Well, let's see if you did it right. The first one is a decomposition reaction. Notice we only have one reactant and then we have multiple products. That's a decomposition reaction. The next is a replacement reaction. Notice that chlorine right here is replacing the bromine. They're kind of switching places right there. That's a replacement reaction. The next one is a composition, or I like to call them a synthesis, but I, I wrote composition here. Here, notice that we start off with two things and we only end with one thing. That's a composition reaction. The next one's pretty difficult, but it is also a replacement reaction. Notice here, there's this OH and this H, they're kind of switching places. So look at this CL goes with the NA and then the H and the OH become H2O. This one's a really challenging one, but if you got that one, give yourself a pat on the back. And then the last one is combustion. This really big molecule right here is a, some type of a fuel. And then notice here, it combines with oxygen. So we're going to create a combustion. And really importantly, our two products are carbon dioxide and water. All right, that's the end of the notes. Good luck.